Today is November 17th. 2018. Celebrating Lizzie and Garth. The Liz and Garth wedding. Elizabeth and Garth are getting married. It's the best day ever! <laughs> We are in beautiful downtown Chicago. It's snowing out. It's like the most perfect day. In the beautiful city of Chicago, Elizabeth's hometown, it's great to be here with all these great people. We are at the Union League Club presidential suite, getting ready for the wedding. Big yep. day. We're at the Kinton Gray, getting ready in the bridal suite. They met at work. They're both in the hotel business. We worked together for about two years until we kind of started seeing each other. It really kind of went back to a going away party for a fellow employee. Every time we would go hang out with work people, we always ended up talking the whole time, sharing a cab home and going our separate ways until finally, like almost a year after that, we ended up kissing and the rest is history. Ooh. How would I describe Elizabeth? Elizabeth is great. She's fun, bubbly. Charismatic, entertaining. She always is the life of the party. She's a blast. She always is very extravagant in the best way possible. Funny, loving. She is the best big sister. Loving, caring. She always thinks about everyone else. She's a really good snuggler in bed. Extremely loving. She's my best friend in the whole world. Extremely positive at all times. Just a, a beautiful person. Oh, she's amazing. Kind, sweet, open, caring, genuine. Yeah, we love her. Garth is amazing. He's honestly like the easiest man to talk to. He is sarcastic and he is just awesome to be around. Garth's a real good guy, genuine, nice guy. Garth's the most reliable, selfless guy I know, and just an incredible friend. He's the best. He's genuine, authentic, a really good guy. Garth is a great guy, very supportive of Elizabeth. Garth is the ultimate pleaser. He's an entertainer. He's always taking good care of people. That's why I know Garth is the best, and he'll take great care of Elizabeth. No? <laughs> okay, I don't want to read that. <laughs> and I'm not going to cry. So proposed down on the river walk. We were walking. I had to tie my shoe. She thought it was going to be proposed to. I tied the shoe and then stood back up and pretended to keep walking. Then I just proceeded to get down on one knee. She turned around and there you go. My mom was in the hospital when Garth proposed and the first thing we did was go right to the hospital. And when we walked into the hospital, there was this random group of boys in suits and as soon as I told my mom, Mom, I'm engaged, there was this choir of college boys singing Glory, Glory, Hallelujah. And it was the most emotional moment of my entire life. They're going to be there tonight. They're singing Glory, Glory, Hallelujah and a couple others. Can't wait to see them. Already. Yeah. <laughs> you look handsome. Thank you. They're gorgeous. What do you think you're looking forward to most about today? Watching my sister in law marry the love of her life. Just to see them both so happy, I think that'll be fun. Smiles on their faces all day long. The first time I met Liz, she just smiled the whole time. And I knew she was smiling because she was around Garth and Garth made her happy. When I saw them just earlier today and they saw each other for the first time and he cried, I know that that is a very, very strong marriage and I'm very excited for them. You know, honestly, I think that she makes me want to be a better person, a better man. When you look at the big picture, we really 
are special together. And I think we bring each other the best that we can be. Good afternoon and welcome to this, the Church of Old St. Patrick here in Chicago. I'm thinking of what Herman Melville said at the turn of the 19th century. He said, we cannot live for ourselves because we are connected by a thousand invisible threads. Today in particular, we are connected in this church by one thread of love and hope. Hope, hope for a better future, hope for peace, hope for a loving couple to enjoy their lives. Yes, we cannot live for ourselves because we are connected by a thousand invisible threads and especially united as one, Elizabeth and Garth. Hi, Elizabeth. Take you, Garth, to be my husband. I promise to be true to you in good times and bad, sickness and in health, all the days of my life. All the days of my life. The ceremony has ended, but this marriage has just begun. Let me present to you Mr. and Mrs. Garth Rush. It's our pleasure to bring to you, for the first time, the beautiful bride and the handsome groom, Mr. and Mrs. Rush! First thing we wanted to do is, of course, welcome Garth and his family and everybody who's come to visit us from all over. Hello, everyone. Most of you know me as Mary, the youngest Duffy. I've realized that after 29 years of following around Liz, she is successful in every endeavor that she has ever gone on, paving the way for me to move and follow her to wonderful places, showing me how to do things done the right way since the day I was born. It's hard to believe tonight's finally here. I mean, we have been talking about this day literally since Liz probably learned how to talk. <laughs> it's above and beyond any expectation we could have ever imagined. And Garth is above and beyond any expectation I could have ever set for the one that's marrying my older sister. 
I have known Garth as long as I can remember. We were on the same basketball team in third grade. He was the starting point guard. I was his backup. Garth is, the, is not just one of my best friends, but it's one of our best friends. He really has become part of our sort of extended family. He is Uncle Garth to our daughters. He's so genuine, incredibly kind, compassionate. We all know that Garth and Liz have defined themselves so far as being love and loving each other and being positive. And Liz and Garth, we love you and we care about you. God bless you both. Cheers to Lizzie and Garth. I can't wait to be there with you two along the way. I sincerely promise that I will never stop following you guys around, so good luck. <laughs> I know that there are amazing times ahead of you guys, and we're so happy that you'll be together. Cheers. Garth is the most selfless individual on the face of the earth. He literally would do anything for anyone. I didn't know who I was as a person until I met him. There's not enough words in the world to describe how perfect he is and how we are truly the best together.